Today we will model hair dryer nozzle with the help of SolidWorks surface feature. So this is the top view and uh, this is section view. In section view you will see there is a radius 120 radius and uh, you will see here the distance of this radius 54 millimeter from end of the body. Look at here. If you see top view, this is a kind of oblong, not exactly oblong. See here, this is little tapered uh, circular edge. Outer radius 20, diameter 20, and the gap between these thickness 2 millimeter. 8.5, this is distance from outer edge to center point. 33 millimeter from center to center of this cir circle. Similarly, in another side. We will create, we will consider internal dimension. Then, then later we will add thickness to outside. So first we will create this shape This in this uh, sketch. Let's see how. First I am going to activate top plane sketch. Now, okay, let's simply activate center line. activate circle tool. Now define this diameter 20 and the center distance 33 millimeter. That's it. Activate mirror entities. Select circle. Make sure you selected the copy box. Mirror line. Choose this vertical line and you will see the preview. Say yes. Similarly, I am going to activate 3 point R and start from this point to this point. Exit. Now, let's make few relations. Select both the arc and circle tangent relation. Similarly, select arc, circle, hold shift key and leave and you will get this option tangent. Now, we need to define distance between these two. So you must hold shift key, select this point and this. Oh. Activate smart dimension, hold shift key and if you move cursor near you will see here, this is going to be distance 8.5 millimeter. Mirror entity, I will select this one. Make sure you selected copy and the mirror line or mirror about this line. Activate here trim entity power trim just hold and press left mouse and drag see we trim this thing that's it okay now this is outer diameter we, we are going to consider inside so offset entity make parameter 2 millimeter and let's select this one but this is going outside so here you will see one option one box reverse just check the box and see it goes inside say yes but outer one we will keep construction line here select for construction later we will add thickness for reference purpose we took like this exit now front plane now I am going to again activate 3 point arc. Make sure this arc should be bigger than this structure. Okay, let's define few relations like horizontal dimension 120 millimeter. Similarly, the distance between this 54 millimeter and one more important relation both in same line. So, hold shift key, origin point and center of arc vertical. See, this is almost fully defined. If you want to define full, you have to apply some relation. Make sure it is this distance bigger than the distance of arc. Okay. Now, this is fully defined sketch. Exit. Go to feature. Activate project curve. Now, here is sketch on sketches because there is no any surface. So, I am going to select both these sketches 
and you will see the preview on this this sketch going to project on this line simply say yes look Now, let's come another part of one part is created. Let's check bottom inside diameter 54. Then this side, the center of this radius, see this radius from inside 115 75.7 millimeter. This is important relation and both side similar. Uh, this is symmetric geometry. And at here you will see 7 millimeter the vertical and there is a radius 3 millimeter. Okay, this is in one plane like uh, this is right plane, uh, sorry, front plane and in right side you will see one more structure here, 242 this radius. And uh, distance, the center of this radius 210, 64.10. Okay. And... Uh, there is a corner radius R14. Okay, let's do this. First, I am going to make a bottom radius. So, top plane is sketch and activate circle tool. Activate di smart dimension. This is 55.4 millimeter. Now, simply exit. Now, activate front plane is sketch. Now let me draw one center line. Let's say horizontal and vertical center line for reference purpose. Now I am going to activate three point R. This is going to be something like this. Then one more arc we need. Then activate line tool. Now let me define first this center distance 115 and vertical distance 75.7 millimeter. Okay. tangent point just move little upside radius 3 and vertical length 7 millimeter now let's create few important relation hold sh shift key select end point and circle and you will see one small window pop up or even in your left bottom peers. See one point is fixed. Again hold shift key select this curve and this point. Peers are drawing fully defined. Look. Select all mirror entity. Undo. Error entity, select these two and mirror about, select this one. You will see the preview. Even it's fully defined, but better to make relation with this arc. Coincide. Now exit. Now let's go to right plane, sketch line now here i am going to activate three point arc again activate line tool let me define first radius 248 Center distance 210 and vertical center distance from origin point 64.1 millimeter. It is near perfect. 
okay. Now here the most important relation we have to create. Hold shift key, select this arc and point pairs. Similarly, select end point, hold shift key, circle pairs. This is fully defined this sketch. Activate fillet, corner radius 14, say OK. Draw one center line, that is better, mirror about this line, that's fully defined sketch, even better to hold pairs, so that there will be less chance of error, exit. Now right click tabs and activate surface now in surface feature there are two lifted surface and boundary for this condition boundary is perfect because you can create prof uh, surface between the profile which can be tangent or curvature so this is going to be a good example first direction one so for direction one i am going to choose both see here direction one so let's if you click it will ask you this is open geometry so say okay now directly click on second line and again it will ask you it's open loop say okay third one open loop okay the fourth one okay if you rotate your model and you will see this is going to be perfect now we will keep global, not curve, not next to sharp or not edge to edge. This is simple, the way is going to create, keep merge, say yes. Look. Let's add thicken. I am going to add 2 millimeter and select the body. Now see thickness we want to add outside, so say yes. You will see there is a one radius R1. So simply let me hide this curve, fill it, one radius means this is full radius. So I am going to activate here full round fillet. First I will choose outer one, second I will choose this, third I will choose inside and you will see the preview, say ok. Now here see cord length 2 millimeter. It means this is 1 millimeter radius. I hope you like it. Don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.